Welcome back freshwater fishing novices. This is Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. I'm the freshwater fishing novice and my name is Moles. What are we doing this week? Last week we did a gear guide. If I was going to go out with someone else and go fishing, what would I bring them? The lures, the reel, the rod, the line, the hooks, all that stuff. We went over for panfish, trout, rock bass, black crappie, and uh, yellow perch. But this week, we're going to be talking about bass. All right, freshwater fishing novices. So the rod I would suggest as a novice for bass fishing, the rod length is going to be 6 foot 6 inch to 7 foot. Just the real size, I would suggest, would be a 20 or 2,000 size reel to a 30 or 3,000 size reel. Well, if you need more line, you go for the bigger one. Typically, I have a 20 on my medium, medium heavy rods. The line weight, I'm going to use 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. The power of the rod is going to be a medium or medium heavy. The action of the rod is going to be, if I was going to grab a rod from my quiver to go fishing with you guys, it would be moderate or fast. I like fast because the reaction time. Moderate's better. It's got a more parabolic bend. A well, fast action. It's going to bend over at the tip, kind of higher up on the rod, and uh, moderate's going to bend over more. So let's look at lures. But first, we're going to talk about the water column, because I kind of skipped it last time. All right, freshwater fishing novices. So last week, I breezed right over it. I went right over it. I didn't even touch on the topic of why we were talking about top water, middle of the water column. Or the bottom and why I picked the lures why I talked about the lures in those categories why did I do that well because you don't know where the fish are gonna be so if you go out and you only bring a bottom fishing lure like some lure you've only fish on the bottom and the fish are in, in the middle of the water column or in the top well that kind of screws you over so it's better to cover your bases and have one in each category. That's why I was talking about top water, middle of the water column, and bottom fishing. Now let's go on to bass lures. Hands down, number one, what am I going to bring with me aside of the rod and the reel and the line? They're going to be hooks. What kind of hooks? Wide gap hook for sure. On the right side, there is a one aught wide gap hook. On the left side, there is a three-aught wide gap hook. So you can see the difference in how thick the wire is. What am I going to use these for? The one-aught wide gap hook, I'm going to use on smaller plastics, right in the top of the head. So I'm going to go right down to that bend, and then I'm going to come back through the plastic. I'm going to thread it up. I'm going to rotate the hook. I'm going to mark where the bottom of the worm, where the hook is supposed to go through the worm, right here. I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to slide the hook through straight, hopefully. So now you can see the hook sticking out on that side. And then you just skin hook it but we've done that before this is without the weight this is a weightless texas rig the wide gap hook is one of the hooks i'm going to bring now there's a couple different plastics i'm going to throw onto those wide gap hooks what is the first one that i'm going to put on there no weights at all it's just the hook and the line the first soft plastic is going to be a stick bait the next type is going to be a beaver tail or a creature bait So it's got these appendages. What this kind of represents is going to be like a craw. This one too, this is a little different. It's got different phalanges on the side here. What we're going to do is we're going to go in the head like that, where the bend starts, come through the plastic, up, rotate the hook. Now you're going to line it up where the bottom of that hook is right here. Pinch your plastic, 
straight through the body. So that is how I throw my soft plastic worms, creature baits, beaver tails. I also throw these creature baits with, with bullet weights on the front. Let's talk about paddle tail swim baits. A couple different types. There's this kind right here. You can see the ribs, but you can see that paddle tail. That's the important part. This is a bigger paddle tail. What I started out on was this little guy. You see the big difference right there. So the way you're going to throw these, let me rig this big guy right here on that big wide gap hook. So what we're going to do, if this, supposedly this is a fish, if it's swimming this way and its tail is, I don't know if you can see that, you want the bottom down like that. So what you're going to do is you want the hook to end up on top of the, for all intents and purposes, the top of the fish. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in the head where it bends you pull it out thread it up spin the hook now you can see where it's supposed to pop through you mark it with your finger carefully so you don't stab yourself rig it like that the difference with um, when I rig stick baits and beaver tails and that stuff when I put a I have to put a weight on this guy Otherwise, it won't work. You do not want the hook to become, you don't want it to come down into this back part of the tail because it's going to impede the action. And it's what, what I mean, it looks like a swimming fish. So you don't want that hook to be down here making this tail all stiff. You want to, you know, be in the top part of that fish. So this thing is just wagging. So the bigger the paddle tail swim bait, or the smaller the paddle tail swim bait is going to dictate the size weight you need. You got to play around. So you want to grab a couple different weights for bullet weights for the paddle tail swim baits. All right, freshwater fishing novices, let's talk about top water. For if I was going to go out, say I was going to, going to go out with anyone, and I had to bring a bunch of gear, I'm going to bring those soft plastics just in case. I'm going to bring the top water lures. So I've already talked about it. You guys know what it is. Maybe you don't. It's a plug. Top water. Walk the dog action. Probably one of my new favorite lures. Oop, and I just hooked my jacket. It cuts left and right as you retrieve it. So. It's kind of the jam. It's one of the easiest lures I've learned to walk the dog on. The other one is going to be a straight retrieve. All you do is you toss it out. Start reeling and it's going to start doing its magic. It's going to be the whopper plopper. And it's just a prop bait that bubbles and fish seem to love it. It's easy for beginners. All you got to do is toss it out and start retrieving. The two top water baits for beginners. If I was going to go out tomorrow, a whopper plopper. This is a size with 75 and the head and spook. Those are the two easiest top water lures I can think of to bring. Let's look at these lures and where I would fish them in relation to the top, middle, or bottom of the water column. So for top water, I'm gonna use that whopper plopper or that spook lure, just because they both float and that's what they're for, is for top water. For the middle of the water column, what I'm gonna suggest is gonna be that wide, the extra wide gap hook, one to three aught. You're gonna use a bullet weight and then you're gonna just pick the paddle tail size you think. Get a small one, get a big one, get a medium one, get a one-aught and three-aught size wide gap hooks and a couple different bullet weights, you know, the bigger ones and then the smaller ones. And play around and see what works and what looks more natural. You want that to look like a fish swimming. Heavier the weight, lower in the water column, you're gonna have to swim it faster. Lighter the weight, higher in the water column, you're gonna have to, you can swim it slower. Couple things to take in consideration when you're picking, you know, soft potty paddle tail swim baits, bullet weights, and your size wide gap hooks. For the bottom, you're gonna use wide gap hooks again. All right, one aught to three aught. What am I gonna fish on the bottom of the water column? Is gonna be 
stick baits, uh, beaver tails, creature baits, craw imitations on those wide gap hooks. And I'm either going to do it completely weightless and just let them, if I want to be more finesse, no weight. If I want them to sink faster, I'm going to throw a bullet weight on it. So hopefully that helps you guys figure out that having the bullet weights will actually give you more versatility. You can almost skip the top water bait and just go for wide gap hooks, bullet weights, and soft plastics. You can literally get away with that. So you don't have to get any hard baits or top water baits. All right, freshwater fishing novices. What I've got here is a full breakdown of everything I've covered in this video with some stuff at the very end that I totally forgot to cover. So let's bust through this real quick so you guys know exactly what we're looking at. So we're looking for a rod, six foot, six inches to seven feet. We want the power to be medium to medium heavy. We want the action to be moderate to fast. We want the reel like a 20 or 2000 to a 30 or 3000 size reel. Spinning reel, I guess I should say. Definitely a spinning reel. Uh, the line should be 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon because it's abrasion resistant. It sinks and it's difficult for fish to see. So likelihood of hooking up is a lot better than with mono or with braid. The hook size for a, a wide gap hook, you're gonna want a one aught to a three aught you know, grab a pack of five of each. If you're gonna do wacky rig with a stick bait, you're gonna to wanna to use a circle hook. So size one uh, circle hook, it's probably a good size to go for. Pick up like a five pack of that. Um, as far as soft plastics, you're gonna want stick baits, worms. You're gonna want craws or creature baits that look like craws. And then you're going to want those paddle tail swim baits because that's going to cover the middle of the water column. As far as hard baits, if you want to, I'd suggest checking out that Spook Lure or the Whopper Plopper size 75F. The two things I didn't cover that we're going to need, of course, is going to be a fishing license because if you don't have a fishing license, you're going to get big fines. And that sucks. You might as well just get the fishing license as opposed to forceps in like the last video since we're using larger gear and larger hooks the forceps aren't going to work as good you're going to want a set of pliers this set of pliers is a multi-tool it's got scissors it's got a saw a knife screwdriver it's got a split ring tool so if you need to change out like um, treble hooks or stuff like that if i was going to go fishing with you tomorrow this is what i would bring to set you up with be like here here go fish with this i'll show you how to use it whatever that's what i would use all that gear right there hopefully that helped out guys if you're watching this video and you're like wow this guy was kind of helpful you can always help my channel grow if you're not subscribed by hitting that subscribe button making that uh button turn from red to gray Make sure you ring that bell and uh, that's going to help my channel grow. It's going to help other people learn how to fish as adults. Find fishing information that's not completely overwhelming. If you guys like this video and you found it informative and you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that this helped you guys out. If you have any questions or anything that's bothering you about fishing or just per perplexing you maybe no it's not perplexing i was confused by a lot of things when i first started fishing and i had very few people to ask about i tried checking youtube and it was all over my head if you guys have questions leave it in the comments i guarantee if you leave me a question i will comment back or i will make a video on it i appreciate all you guys for watching commenting liking and subscribing it's been Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. My name is Moles. I'm the Freshwater Fishing Novice. <laughs>